Yesterday at Justin's by Marilyn Harding. Illustrations by Alexandra B. Stefano. I love to go to Justin's. We always have such fun. We play astronauts or cowboys or bad guys on the run. Justin's teaching me to skateboard. I'm really not too bad. He's super good at everything. The best friend I've ever had. Yesterday at Justin's, things seemed pretty much the same. We ran outside, watched TV, then played a video game. But something was wrong at Justin's. I could feel it in my heart. Justin's mother wasn't laughing. His brother acting smart. And when we were jumping on the beds, his mother didn't shout. She just turned away and closed the door. I couldn't figure it out. Then I said to my friend, Is your mother sick? But Justin didn't answer. He just gave the wall a kick. We went to play outside again and climbed up in a tree. Justin was acting angry, but he wasn't mad at me. He snapped a branch and broke the twig. We watched it hit the ground. Then Justin started crying, though he didn't make a sound. I didn't know what to say or, or even where to look. I just put my arm around him and while he sat and cried and shook. He seemed a bit embarrassed when he tried to wipe his eyes. For a minute, we just watched the clouds as they sailed across the sky. My dad has left and gone away, Justin said in a quiet voice. He took his books and all his clothes. He said he had no choice. He said when we were older that we would understand. He said that it was no one's fault, but life is hard to plan. Dad said we could go and see him and he'd phone us every day, but I would give just anything for him to come back to stay. My mother said it's okay and things will work out fine, but last night I heard her crying, and I think the fault is mine. One time I heard them shouting. Dad said it was all the stress and that kids just added pressure at a time when he needed less. I guess he doesn't love us or he wouldn't go away. My mother said that's silly. He just needs to find his way. My mom said to give it time he'd come home in the end. But Dylan's father didn't and now his mother has a friend. I just sat and listened. There was nothing I could say. I'd have to ask my mother why parents act this way. Last night when I was going to bed, I told what Justin shared. I asked my mom about it because I was kind of scared. Sometimes you and Daddy fight. Will Daddy go away? If there were no more children, then would Father stay? Mummy got so quiet I thought she didn't hear. Then she put her arms around me and said, Come snuggle near. Growing up is hard to do, especially when you're young. But just because you're grown up, your growing isn't done. Mums and dads are people and we often make mistakes. Sometimes it's hard to see the way or find the courage that it takes. Each person faces challenges they help us grow inside. Mistakes just keep us learning to balance wisdom with our pride. As we grow in spirit and get stronger in our hearts, life's ever-changing problems become a place to start. In every little problem is a new beginning if we choose. And when we solve our problems, we gain tools that we can use. My heart is full for Justin, his brother and his mom, and also for his father. Their challenge has just begun. There will be pain and sadness, and happy times as well. And how it all will turn out, only time will tell. Just remember that love guides us, even when we fall, and chooses ways to show us the courage in us all. Be kind and open in your heart. Show Justin that you care, for the greatest gift of all 
is the love that we can share. No matter what our struggles or how dark our troubles seem, you children are our blessing, our happiness, our dreams. So sleep in peace, my angel. Tomorrow's a brand new day. Give over all your worries and let your heart show you the way. Yesterday at Justin's, I felt so very sad when I saw him crying and heard about his dad. I know his dad still loves him. I don't think that goes away. And no matter how things work out, it all will be okay. And whatever happens, I'll help him understand. I'll be there when he needs me and be the best friend that I can.